PUNCH! Please forgive me, please forgive me! PUNCH! Lord have mercy. I'm about to bust. Now go kill him! Ah! Ay, Miguel! Miguel! Alright, so boom. Last year, I covered the career of Mike Tyson. It's only right that I talk about Julian the Hawk Jackson. This man came from the Caribbean, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and straight knock motherfuckers out. If you ever struggled with insomnia, don't go to the doctor. Go to Julian Jackson. And big shout out to Boxing Editing TV and BLTV Extra for compiling these highlights. Because I've been searching all over for Julian Jackson's first 30 fights, and I could barely find anything. But thank the Lord for those two channels. At this point in Julian's career, he's 10 and 0. God damn, make it 11. When do you ever see somebody in boxing looking like this? He had this man doing the backstroke without water. Fast forward a year and eight fights later, he's a perfect 18 and 0, taking on a brother named Ron Lee Warrior. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. He caught so much hands, this warrior forgot how to fight. Hawk made him abandon his controller. Timber! 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 Got him walking around like Steve Urkel. Look at his leg. The left hand had this man humping the top rope. Get him out the ring. 27. And oh, at this point. Another one. Where the ambulance? Why the man body still the right man there? Call the damn ambulance! Make that 28. He just executed that man. The wildest portion is the fact that the referee didn't even look down at the casualty. Francisco was the first man on the moon without a spaceship nor being an astronaut. Up next, he took on Derek Drain, and that brother gonna need more than a bra to hold him up. Look at this man's feet. I don't know if he dancing in a cover three or lost his balance. Do it again. Why you keep doing the same move? Are you sure about that? Daddy, chill. I've had it. Everyone's getting a- Fucking shut up, bitch. Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy, my baby! Back-to-back -back second round TKO wins. He's a perfect 29-0. and 0. The Hawk would then get his opportunity to challenge for the WBA super welterweight title, and he lost in controversy in the second round. A referee who ain't never had seasoning in his life ended the fight prematurely after a couple of blows on the ropes. Man, this is some more bullshit. So did he bitch and moan? Nah, he got in the gym and said, everybody gonna die. If you step in the ring with him, make sure you got your life insurance in order because you're dead. 44 and one, second fight outside of Korea. Welcome to the States. Nani? How about some lefts and right hands with your kimchi? <laughs> Yo! What's the matter? You're the one who started this game. And now you don't want to play anymore? Finish him! Hey, oh! Mans was sentenced to under the rope like a fugitive who was set to be hung. It was all fun and games in Korea. Dunn came to the States and got denied citizenship. And the bout was for the vacant WBA Super Welterweight Championship. So now Julian Jackson is the champion. And in his first title defense, he took on Buster Drayton. Time to find out if the Hawk was a fluke. Me thinks not. <laughs> you missed me. What did you say, nigga? <laughs> you missed me. Trainer. That's game. The Hawk put the former champion to sleep as if he was saluting his way into the shadow realm. Look at Homie in the front row at the bottom of the screen. Homie flinched as if Mans was about to land in his lap. His soul must have hit him in the face. Your soul is mine. How many Franciscos is this man gonna have to fight? Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Do you, you want, want to continue, continue or, or not? not? Yes! This was a mistake. And it's all over! He got caught on the back of the head, disabled his system, gave that brother a DUI on top of a Budweiser advertisement. But don't get too cocky now, it's time to defend your title. <laughs> How you unplug this man console with the right hand? He was damn near statuesque. He was a gargoyle in the ring. Falcon punch. 
He was asleep on his feet. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. We do not care. You're done. Give me the fucking mouthpiece. Give me the fucking mouthpiece. It's been three years since becoming champion, and the Hawk is still raging on his opponents. Go get him, Bruce. Wayne Powell is his next challenger. <laughs> Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want get this man to a hospital now right hand damn near put this man into a coma he's not even on this planet anymore look at this man's eyes got him looking like an npc background character in grand theft auto vice city the hawk is now 40 and 0 the welterweight division was not enough for julian jackson so it's time to move up to middleweight what's better than holding one title two what are you gonna do now big boy <laughs> Mans flew to Spain and took out their number one contender for the vacant middleweight championship. Look at him on the floor. He took a nap in Ibiza, woke up at the foot of Jesus. He was throwing lefts with all the power he had, only to get caught with a right that sent him to the Lord. Why was the ref even counting? Get this brother some medical attention. His eyes rolled so far behind his head, Vince McMahon nearly gave him the gimmick of The Undertaker. His first title defense against Dennis Milton. Say something, say something, talk, talk to me, talk to me. Milton. Damn, Dennis, man, took a right hand and he too went to sleep on top of the Budweiser advertisement. Look at his mouth, it's a jaw. He looked like a freshly caught fish rolling all over the ring. You scary. We damn near two minutes into the first round. Milton. Come here. With your trifling ass, Milton. Six months later, the day after Valentine's Day, here comes Negron. <laughs> Back-to-back -back first round knockouts. Look at this man's body. Kicked his legs into the air like it was missionary position. Referee asked if he was okay and homie started wiggling. His next title defense, he took on Ron Collins. <laughs> Through four rounds, Mans was getting worked. His corner asking, are you sure you want to go out for a fifth? I hope so. I can't. That's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. Fucking mouthpiece. The Hawk hasn't lost a fight in six years since winning the welterweight title. Nobody's even come close. He took down Thomas Tate by unanimous decision through 12 rounds and nearly boxed him out of the ring. He'd pick up another victory and now he's got to defend his title against Gerald McClellan. This by far the toughest fight of his entire career. Through four rounds, his punches was landed, but damage wasn't being applied. Looks like he lost his plot armor. <laughs> Look at the knot on the top of his right eyebrow. He became the first human in history to have a pregnancy on his forehead. He was trying so desperately to make the 10 count, but the referee knew the fight was over. The streak of seven years without an L is over. He may have had the falcon punch, but McClellan grabbed the smash ball. Ah! At that point, it was pretty much the beginning of the end. He may have taken his L with grace, but he was never able to recapture that same glory. You can't watch a man lift your belt above his shoulders. Go get your title back, Julian. But before then, you'd have to take out the Fresh Prince of Ballet's cousin. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Good night, Carlton. That was easy. Get the fuck out of here! The Hawk would take down two other nincompoops, and now the time he was waiting for the anticipated rematch against Gerald McClellan for his WBC middleweight championship. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. You're gonna give me what I want. You know what it is. Give me what I want. You're gonna give me what I want, or I'm gonna continue to hurt people you love. Give me what I want! Give it to me! Give me what I want! Give me what I want! You're on! Round one, fight! It's been a year and a day since he held the gold. It's time for Jackson to get it back! Oh Lord! What's that? Punch him! Punch him! My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me! Help me! Why are you running? Come here. Help! Help! Police! Sir. Sir! It's up to you. 
Do you want to continue or not? I hope so. The hawk said I ain't going out like no bitch. If I'ma go down, I'm going out on my feet. I don't give a fuck. My stomach hurts. I am in severe pain. I can't talk this neck anymore. If anything happens to me, it's better than all for this to be held accountable. Congratulations! Throne defended. You are the king of the hill. Look how the Hulk got done in on the suicide cam. Punch to the liver, put this man down like 18 shots of Devil Springs. Got him looking like a beetle underneath a rock. His quest of redemption would fail. He would never defeat Gerald McClellan, and he would never be seen or heard from again. Until a year later, because Gerald McClellan moved up to the super middleweight division, so the title is now vacated. Julia Jackson gets another opportunity. You took my life, B. Payback's a bitch. I don't even know you! Hit that boy with a right hand filled with nothing but anger. It's up to you. Do you want to continue or not? Give me a hug. I quit. I quit. The Hawk climbed back to the mountaintop, reclaimed his middleweight championship, and for one last time, would reign supreme over the middleweight division. Sent that man to go meet his ancestors. Knockout was so lethal, he had this man playing an invisible flute. But he only held the title for a few more months because he got worked by Quincy Taylor. <laughs> What are you gonna do now, big boy? The duel's over. With that, he would never recapture the same glory. He would fight a few more fights and pick up a couple more W's, but it was never with the same flair that he once had. The younger generation was taking over, and Julian Jackson would fade into retirement until his induction into the International Boxing Hall of Fame three years ago. Highly regarded as one of the hardest punchers in boxing history, Jackson's knockout to win ratio stands at 89%. Although casual boxing fans may not know his name, those who had a chance to watch him in his prime will never forget Julian the Hawk Jackson. Finish him! Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Took a nap. You ever go night-night, nigga? You ever go night-night, nigga? Everybody go night-night, nigga? You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Dreams! Dreams! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.